Hello, and welcome back to your CCS exam prep review. So I'm wondering, what have you done so far? I hope that you are making a list, a personal list, right? What things you personally need to do to improve. Do you have your study plan in place? All the things that I've talked about thus far. All right, well, let's dig in to one of the small domains, which is domain number two, and it focuses on coding documentation. I actually said this in the domain one review, but I think it's important for me to just call it out right now. It's so critical that you understand the documentation that is in a hospital record. One book I would recommend is a textbook on health information technology. And the reason I'm recommending that book, a book like that, is because it will give you pictures of health record forms. And I think that in the Clinical Coding Workout book, a book that I told you about before, it speaks to inpatient records in, I think it's chapters four and seven. I don't have that with me. But in there, when they do inpatient, you'll see discharge summary. You'll see history and physical exam. You'll see consultant report. You'll see progress note. You need to know more than just those names, right? How do we use those forms in the inpatient coding workflow? Where do we begin? Now, of course, these are just little mini reviews that I'm doing for you. So I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty of how to code, right? In a review, you're not being taught how to code. You're being Provide it with a review of concepts that you are expected to know. Review the health record to assign diagnoses and procedure codes for an encounter. Now, that goes back to what I've just been saying. You got to know the health record, the forms in the health records, and then review it to assign the diagnoses and procedure codes for the encounter that you're looking at. Here, what I want to say, in the AHIMA medical coder lab package, so if you go to the AHIMA store and you look at, and I'm trying to visualize this in my head, but if you look at the store, you can get like a bundle that includes the clinical coding workout and the medical coder, encoder package or something like that. You know, go to the store and learn, you know, where that's at, right? So in there, they have lots of opportunities for you to do some coding, like inside of there is the, I'm trying to think of the name of it, the ICD-10 CM PCS coding handbook from AHA. And inside of there, ooh, one of my favorite things is that they have like 250 little scenarios where you can code and strengthen your skills. Now, if you notice something, I keep telling you to code, continue to code. All these resources that I'm giving you, they have the answers, which allows you to check your work. And you as a person who has already been taught how to code, what you're going to do is say, okay, okay, okay. I see I'm getting this wrong. I'm getting that wrong. Oh, but I'm getting this right. I'm getting this right, right? That helps you build, that helps you strengthen your skills. Skill building is key. Review and address health records discrepancies. Now, 
sometimes people get this confused with item number or domain number three, which is queries, which we're not going to talk about right now. We're just talking about domain number two. But first, you got to know, what does the word discrepancy mean, right? And if I had to mm, help you differentiate this from queries, I would say that it's about a quantitative and a qualitative analysis of the health record itself, right? It's not about necessarily the documentation, but it could be about, you know, something related to the progress note for that date is missing. You know that the patient was seen, but you don't see the progress note. The history and physical exam was, is missing. In your AHIMA CCS exam prep book, look at the types of questions that they're asking you related to these two areas and then explore additional resources. Remember, at the end of the review book, they have a list of references. Somebody said to me recently, am I supposed to go through all of those references? I say, yes. Remember, the exam is one day of your life. What about after that? What about on the job? Consider preparing for the exam like preparing to be able to do the work. It means nothing if you can pass the exam, but you can't do the work. All right, I think that's all for domain number two. I'll see you back over for domain number three. And what I recommend that you have available uh, for domain number three is a copy of the most recent version of the query process. At the time of this review, the most recent was the December 2022 version, and that's what I'll be using to guide my conversation for that topic. Don't forget about looking at a health record book. Ahima has some, Cengage has some, but get that book so that you can see the different forms, what's on the forms, especially if you're taking this test and you've never coded before, you need to see it. In the review guide, in the medical record coding part, you'll see, you'll see, you know, some more resources there. All right, thank you.